This is part one of the, the special. Let's go. So we're here, Tony said. Can you please stop those stories? Well, the first part, was, the last part was a story. I know. Tony said, get out of the car. What's his problem? The driver said, look at him. He really did this time, as I said in a whisper. I'm sorry, boss man. The driver said, watch his all my age. He says, Yuri called and she said, I out as well. She was just saying, please don't do it again. I know, sir, I'm sorry. It's alright, just don't do it again. Shota walked out of the car. Why are you at Spirit Halloween? Eerie asked. This is the only place we can get your costume, Tori said, smiling. Eerie jumped up for joy. Yay, costume! Tori sighed. Why does he always make up these things? Why are you so worried about your driving? Just because of the accident, Tori said. Oh yeah, it scared you completely while driving a car. Yeah, it is. Tony looked to the side. Even though I did the high school exam. I did a pretty good job, Tony said. Yeah, I kind of guessed that, Shota said. Let's just go in, Tony said, pulling Shota and Shota grabbed Shinzo and Shota and grabbed Koda. Then Koda grabbed Yuri. Yay, we're merely a link. Eerie said excited. So we look at Eerie. Shh. We don't want people to look at us. Sorry, Dad, Eerie said. So we walked into the building. The person smiled. It's nice to see you on my any Pacific. So we looked around. Only for these three boys to go Shota and Yuri. Ah, oh, yes. Look around, will you guys? The person smiled. So I looked at Yuri and go, let's go to your section of the area. Tori said, grabbing both kids' hats. Shinzo and Danzo went to the aisle section where the guy was standing. So I and Yuri and go to walk to the kids section on the other end. What are we looking for? Koda said. Anything you want, Tori said, smiling. Really? Koda said, excited to see what cautions they had. So we looked at Koda and followed him when Yuri followed as well. Not wanting to get lost in the store. So I looked at Koda pointing at what he wanted. Oh, that. Okay, Tori said, not surprised. I want a Deku one. Alright, okay, Tori said, smiling. Koda jumped up into Tori's arms. Thank you. And you got dressed your size, Tori said, smiling. Koda excited to work on Deku well, remember Halloween. Yuri, anything for Yuri gleamed at the Deku outfit. And the one Millie outfit. Oh, okay. So I grabbed both of Yuri's sizes and gave it to her. One for Halloween and one for It's a Secret. So I said it was to Yuri's ear. Sure thing that Eerie said, knowing the secret already. So he walked back to the middle of the section with the area called Jumpy and Joy. And in particular, he showed us the mild. Nothing in particular, hiding what he had behind his back. Okay, whatever you guys want. Here go where I collect both their costumes. So I said, walking with Shota Shinzo So You really think he'll find out that you got the same costume as him? Probably not, Shota said, smiling. 
One day they went to the Yale Pay to the like the Shota and Shota like the Ham. Surprise, Shota said. You really wanted to be like me after the party? Doria said, smiling. What can I say? Do you love with one stone? Doria sighed. It's two loves with one heart. Yeah, that, Shota said. So he paid for the costumes and walked out with his love and his kids behind him. Sorry about that, boss. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Making up stories on the job won't help you now, Tyler. Toya said, giving him a look. Yes, boss, I'm sorry. Tyler said, sighing and opened the door for his boss's, his boss's kids and his boyfriend. Well, where to now, home, Toya said. Watch as Tyler sighed. I said I was sorry. So I looked at Tyler in the eyes. Next time I'll call Kitty. Tyler knew that he had screwed up. Another week of pension probably is in his name. I'm sorry, sir. Tony looked at Tyler. Next time you make up things, don't do it when I'm here. Yes, sir, Tyler said. Tori said there quietly, watching as Eriko talk amongst each other. What was Dad talking about, about the surprise? Don't worry about it, Eri said, smiling. Tori and Yuri looked at each other with a smirk on their faces. They could hear on smirking when Shota hit Tori away with his head. Stop smirking. Yeah, love, all right, so he said, sighing, shaking his head a little bit. So they finally got there, Tyler opened the door. Please don't let Katie be there, driver, sir. Katie is on vacation. It's because of you that Katie has to be on vacation. So I said to Tyler. So he walked back to the house, grabbed his house keys and opened the door. But he did, Tyler, he is angry. I know, sir, I'm sorry. Doesn't mean anything, as I was said, walking up to the house. Yeah, Tyler, you should have known better, Eri said. Yeah, what Eri said, Koda said, following behind. Shenzo put his hand on Tyler's shoulder. Bad luck next time, man. Shenzo said, walking back to the house. Tyler slumped down in defeat. I screwed up, he said. Now ghosts around him. You should have known bad, Tyler. You don't want to anger the master, or do you? Even if master's angry, you should have made stories about him. You know, don't know if the media is snippy in. They might have had cameras in the car. Oh, shoot, I should have checked. Good thing we were there, the ghost said. He's going to put disappearing one door yet. You should have checked the chunk. When Tyler ran to the chunk, there was a mic dangling there. I'm screwed, Tyler said again, falling down, feeling like his soul left him. Don't join us now, Tyler, the ghost to Tori's bodyguard said. Yeah, it won't be fun. Disappearing after Tyler reawoke himself. I'm sorry, sir. Next time, check the car before you start making up stories. You don't know who's listening in. Everyone and the door slammed closed. Tyler was left alone by himself. What happened next? Peace out here, squad.